Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is December, today is January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year to all my 58 subscribers out there. I appreciate every one of you guys and gals for subscribing today. If nothing's really changed. We're going to uh, update the data. Okay, so let's just come over here while we're waiting for this to update. Actually, I'm going to call it quits. So you, you don't need to sit there and watch this all upload. <coughs> here we go. Let's see broadcasting. Let's watch a little chest and wait for this to update. This is a car Nakamura. He's a Five-time U.S. champ, very popular. He's just one of the first uh, chess players to bring uh, cheese to bring uh, chess to Twitch. As you can see, he has uh, <clears throat> twenty thousand followers right now. <clears throat> that could be okay. This is done. So we could put Nakamura on hold right now. Come back and finish up our report. Uh, you know, the, you know, my, 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 my current interest in chess, uh, began with, with him, with, uh, 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 Akari Nakamura, the grandmaster. I mean, for some reason, one of his, uh, bullet games or his blitz games show up on, showed up on, uh, on my, on my face, on my YouTube stream. And I started watching the guy. I, I thought, you know, well, I really like this, this, this type of short game. It's more interesting than say, uh, a 30 minute or an hour long game, okay? So I started watching and watching and watching. I thought, we know, you know, you know, he may, he's on chess.com, so I started looking at chess.com. Um, and I, uh, and I got interested in playing chess. I started playing chess, uh, I started playing versus the computer on chess.com, a low level computer. Uh, I took a watch a few of the videos on how to play chess. And I'm just kind of going from there. So far, the best I've done is defeat a uh, 250 rated uh, uh, bot. Okay, so that's, uh, so that's that story right there. Okay, let's get back to updating the database. Before we get started here uh, with, the, with, the, with the official business, let's just... Okay, so let's get back here now. But do before we get any further, I do want to once again wish all my 58 subscribers a happy and joyous new year, a blessed new year. Uh, I pray that God will give you the shalom you need to to keep you going this year. Okay. I do have one other question though. So, uh, obviously, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. But there's two things I need for my current subscribers this year. There's one, to click the like button on this video. And two, click the share button and share this this the link for this video on your with all your social media accounts, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever social media 
platform you're using, go ahead and uh, and, and to share today. Okay. So first of all, come over here and we're going to uh, update the uh, John Hopkins University numbers. I will mention that our world of data actually includes uh, John Hopkins data, okay? And our world and data data sets. So that's one. Let's start this. Take this one more while this finishes up here. That's two down, one to go. Now we update the R world and data. You see, all I'm doing is uh, creating a, connecting to a database and, read, and reading in some uh, CSV files and then, then actually writing the data back out to a table, okay? So I do it twice, right? That's all the, okay, there we go. Okay, so th th this is the R1 and data set. Let's go and run this. And again, what you can see here is the red dots are the John Hopkins data points. The blue dots, the blue lines are the uh, our world and data data set. You can see the they match up pretty close. Okay, they match up fairly close. Okay, so that concludes the report for today. Well, this, then we're back in this one with with our regular scheduled programming, as we like to say.